Woo! Finally. So, yeah, I recently have reached level 1000 in Pandemic Express, and I'm really glad that I hit it. I still have footage of about a year ago of me playing the game, and I know I've made a lot of mistakes while I was playing the game. So, now I've hit level 1000 in Pandemic Express, I was thinking of analyzing the gameplay and telling you what I did good and wrong, and hopefully you can learn something from it. So, at this point I was probably about level 200, no not even, probably level 150 or something. And at this point I just found out about Narnia and I was really, really excited. So every game we had on station A, I was gonna go to Narnia because I found it really special. So currently I'm also gonna go to Narnia, you'll see me try to get there. And just making sure Narnia isn't exactly exploiting. Um, you could exploit by going to the secret drop, but don't do it because it's really lame. And we have promised as a community to not do that again. So don't do the secret drop, guys. I'm serious. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to the drop, not to the secret drop, but just to the normal drop. And there's a spot in which you can go to the drop. Like you can drop down and then you'll fall at the drop. Like you fall into the normal map again. And this might be really confusing for you guys. But this is Narnia. And it is, it's probably meant to be confusing. So I'm just gonna skip ahead right here. Oh no, no. It's probably interesting if I let it play. So right here you could like, you could drop yourself and you'll fall into the normal map again. As you will see me do in a second, it's really confusing. But it is what it is. And now I'm at the normal drop again. So taking the drop is really controversial it you could probably see it as a high risk high reward but at this particular moment someone else was on the drop uh, there were not a whole lot of zombies like not a lo whole lot of people died at the beginning so it was pretty safe to get drop so that's why I went for the drop right here Here I heard some beeping and I made the mistake of not like hovering up, like at the water because if you open the drop you could like still open the drop but like hover a bit like at the top of the water and as soon as a zombie comes you could just gun jump out of there but I, I did not know that at the time and as soon as I heard a beep I always instantly went out of the water. Because I also did not know how to surf or anything, so like water was really dangerous and scary to me. Honestly, watching this back, I, I, I have no clue what I was doing. I'll be really honest. Uh, first of all, I use a grey SMG instead of a purple pistol, which is obviously way better than the grey SMG. Second of all, I potato all my shots. Third of all, I just jump around a bit and I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I, I did I did a few dumb things there, I'll be really honest. Uh, this is a really important point. Right there, if we go back 10 seconds. So, after I get my RPG, 
and have a purple pistol and a rocket launcher I go this way walking all the way down here going up and using the uh, what is it like the apartments the apartment stairs to get up again so what I could have done here if uh, I could have used this pillar to gun jump up go through the gap and then go above it's way way faster than like walking I'll just skip forward like I need to walk this this whole segment and right now it didn't really matter because uh, as you can see right there the zone isn't really that close but I've had a fair a few few uh, accidents in where I was taking those stairs instead of gun jumping off uh, the pillar and it actually got me killed a few times because the zone just killed me because I wasn't fast enough uh, in this one I'm, I'm, I'm quite lucky if you look at the left corner you see that the zone's on my ass but it, I'm not in the zone yet so I don't take any damage getting from the drop to the train is also another thing gun jumping is really important and at this time I wasn't a pro in gun jumping I'll be honest uh, I'll pause it right here 10 seconds I'll pause it right in a few seconds right now I'll pause it so at this point I was not a pro at gun jumping I was still learning the game and that's not necessarily a bad thing but just keep in mind that you need to practice with gun jumping a lot another thing I want to talk about uh, it is not really an important thing but map knowledge and you may laugh at me because map knowledge in pandemic express are you crazy or something uh, I'll agree with you it is dumb but it is actually a thing in my opinion because if you look uh, I always say that this is the zoom tunnel because you could seriously get some momentum from this like if you get your gun and you shoot at the top you could get a lot of speed from it and what I did I went over here instead of going into the zoom tunnel and getting like some horrendous speeds I went over and I also failed because I was not the best at gun jumping but try to set like a goal for yourself. Uh, I'll always try to, what is it? I'll always try to get from the drop to the train in like 30 seconds. And that may seem really fast, but like once you practice, practice, practice with gun jumping, as I already said in my human guide, gun jumping is mostly about trying, knowing where you can get speed from different tactics it just comes with time it is all down to practicing practicing and even more practicing uh, I'll just go to the train right there nothing special uh, zooming to the train nothing special here's where the actually good segment starts and where I could probably give some commentary so right here we have had already we have uh, the stops currently going on stops going to current on and after the stop the health machine was spawn so after uh, the health machine spawned you can basically get away with gun uh, train hopping and what that basically means is that you play 90% in the zone and only 10% on the train and I'll explain it a bit more in depth but basically the vending machine or sorry not the yeah the vending the health machine has a 10 second cooldown once it has been used so what that basically means is that you can get off the train and get on the train again get off get on and you won't you will take zone damage but you could just replenish it by going onto the train again moving it a few meters uh, and then uh, getting off again and yeah you will take zone damage but you could just get it back on if you're train hopping uh, another thing 
that you might have noticed is that I ADS'd or with other words I zoomed in and with the pistol you there's never a viable situation where you could zoom in there's no viable situation like there really ain't you should never ads with a pistol with, with other weapons like for example the ak sniper go ahead but like with the pistol it's unnecessary what i do the, I, I did not train hop really good right here like my train hopping was really bad i honestly wasn't an expert at the game yet like i i also i've made a lot of mistakes in my past i did not know how to play well so i've messed up a few times here i get stuck which really annoys me still to this day it really really annoys me And here comes the dumb part. So right here. This zombie. This zombie. Hit me. Instead of throwing me. And as far as I can remember. I still have six rockets. So. What I should have done. Is I should have used my rocket launcher here. Did I do that? No I did not. And I ended up paying death for it. I ended up dying by these guys because this guy actually threw me and here is where I only have one heart left and I realized that I won't survive. And that's the end of the game. This guy will die in a few seconds as well. So the video wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. In my head it was made way better than it actually was. What I do, uh, what I'm gonna do though, is I don't even know if people want this, but if you want, my Discord is down in the description. And if you contact me on Discord and you send me a clip of you playing Pandemic Express, no matter how new or, uh, even if you're a veteran or you're just new at the game, I would be down to analyze it. I don't know if people would be down or willing to, but if you would send me footage, I would definitely discuss it in one of my videos that's gonna be next. So I don't know if people are down for it, but if you're down for it, uh, Discord tag is down in the description. Add me, send me the footage, and I will review it, cause since I hit level 1000, I think I have an idea of what I'm doing in the game. And I'm not just running around doing dumb shit. <laughs>